We will get started today with news you can use. We're going to do rapid fire news you can use today. I have seven topics I'm going to cover briefly, and uh, we'll just take them as they come. Uh, first up, lumber. Uh, lumber prices have dropped 22% in the last two weeks. Uh, that's a good thing. Um, and what they, they attribute this to is that the lumber, the parity, the disparity or parity between the supply and the demand is equal now. So prices will tend to fall. That's going to help for inflation purposes. Number two, mortgage rates are predicted to be 5% within the next 30 to 45 days to reach that 5% national level. That is a horrendous jump from what we had. That's gonna play on item number seven we're gonna talk about, which is the Fed and what they're doing to fix this inflationary thing. Uh, number three, revised numbers for new home sales now show that new home sales dropped during the month of January. Uh, revised numbers, they said they were up, they're actually down. And of course, we reported previously that they were down in February. Also, this month, new home sales are down drastically. Number four, uh, this is my liar, liar, pants on fire section. Uh, Zillow, in spite of what everybody else is saying, is coming out and they're predicting a giant increase in the price of the market this year in terms of houses. They're the only ones now who are on that side of the ledger. Um, and as we've talked in several previous episodes, my personal opinion is that they're doing it uh, as a pump and dump scheme in order to not have to write down as much losses because of their iBuyer fiasco over the last year or two. But um, my advice to everybody would be ignore anything that you see that has a byline of Zillow on it. Number five, existing home sales for the month of February dropped 7%. We talked about new home sales. These are existing home sales. This is the first time we've seen this happen where they've actually dropped on a year over year and month over month basis, both of those. They are also down, existing home sales are also down for the month of March to date. Number five, or number six, excuse me, mortgage applications are down about 15% year to date and they're down about 30% this month so far. So people are not applying for mortgages probably because they're not buying houses, uh, probably because they've either given up trying to buy houses because of the affordability issue or the fact that the mortgage rates have gone up so high that a lot of these people who would have been paying 2.6% last year and now would be paying 45 to 5% interest can't afford those homes anymore. And number seven, and probably the most important thing on news you can use today is that the Fed um, the, the bookmakers in Vegas and on Wall Street are betting against the Fed. The Fed has gotten themselves in a position, their main goal is to, is to control or try and eliminate tamp down inflation. They waited too long to pull the trigger on the interest rate increases. And now the bet is that they will overshoot, overcorrect, they'll do too much too soon when the market has stepped in to try and regulate some of those inflationary pressures in, the, in and of themselves and they will actually create a recession. So either they're going to not get inflation under control or they're gonna get a recession. Nobody is giving uh, the Fed great odds to solve the problem like they always have in the past. The Fed is losing credibility, not just in this country, but worldwide. Um, and that's been always one of our kind of bellwether institutions in this country is the Fed you know, had typically had their handle uh, on the rudder, the tiller, the, the wheel, they've kept things steady and going forward and they've known what to do in advance. Um, they telegraphed all of that and then they didn't take action quick enough. And the market took action and now they're trying to take action when the market's already taken the action. And so it is a slippery slope. It's a matter of do they slide off the icy road to the left or to the right? I don't think there's any chance they're going to come up with a good solution, which is to raise interest rates modestly and to tamp down inflation. I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, I think they've waited too long and there's too much water under the bridge. So uh, anyway, that's news you can use for today. Uh, got through it a little quicker than I was expecting, but seven different items and there's a lot of stuff to chew over. We'll talk about some of those in more detail next week. But for now, that is it for news you can use.